Hello Nacho community members. Uh, this is Argon Mining back here with an update on uh, the Nacho Catbot. Uh, so as you probably saw in our Discord and on Twitter yesterday, uh, we actually partnered with the CasperBot team uh, to integrate their minting and KRC20 transferring bot into our information bot in Discord. Uh, so originally CatBot uh, was just for getting information on mainnet about your KRC20 balances or even the status of a token. So originally, uh, we had developed CatBot to handle these commands, right? So if you put in status and then a ticker of a KRC20 token, you'll get a bunch of information uh, on that token. So if we look at status of Nacho, we get all of the information, right? The maximum supply, the number of mints that have been completed, how many tokens you get per mint, you know, and so on and, and so forth here. Um, that next uh, address or that next command, token balance, uh, will actually give you your main net balance uh, of your KRC20 token. So I'm just scrolling up here to grab a example wallet address. Uh, it looks like we've had quite a few. Okay, so we grab this, we come down here and we type in token balance, and then that address. It will pull your actual balance from the KRC20 indexer on mainnet uh, and push it here. So it looks like whoever's random wallet address this is has 143,500 nacho. Uh, so going through this, uh, this continued command guide or the help menu here, um, links will get you all of the official Nacho links, right? So our X profile, Telegram account, website, white paper, and then um, the merch store that Iron Frog has set up for us. Um, similarly, the next one in there is donate. So if you need a quick uh, access to the address for Nacho where you want to donate, it's right there. Uh, you can even go click into the donation uh, wallet balance if you want to check on what's going on in that community wallet. Uh, now next here is our help menu, which we saw right there. So we'll do it again just as an example here. Um, and that just pulls up this help menu, right? Gives you insight into how to use the bot. Now this section right here is brand new. This is actually the CasperBot team integration. Uh, so when you hit uh, the mint command, uh, their bot responds to you. We can see that it's slightly different, right? Uh, ours is CatBot, theirs is CatBot by Casper to, to show that designation. Now because KRC20 isn't live on mainnet yet, the only thing you can do with the CatBot by Casper uh, is actually testnet 10 minting. Uh, so none of this is real, it's all just for practice. Uh, but it's a good thing to practice because uh, we're encouraging everyone to use CatBot to mint all of their KRC20 tokens on launch day. Uh, the Casper team has dedicated 15% of all of the minting uh, service fees that they charge uh, as being able to be donated back to the Nacho community. And we intend to use these for uh, funding future centralized exchange listings or DEX listings and the associated fees or liquidity uh, that's needed for that. Um, so get in there and test this. Um, additionally, the Casper team is actually doing an airdrop of their KRC20 token, uh, and they're inc uh, including any holders of K Nacho in that airdrop. Uh, so if you're able to get in here and test on Testnet 10 uh, and get yourself some K Nacho, which again is useless, it's just a Testnet 10 token, uh, simply for testing the bot and, and getting used to this minting process. Um, but if you hold that, uh, they've figured out a way to associate your uh, Testnet 10 address with a real mainnet address, and they'll be airdropping you uh, their Casper token. Uh, and they should be coming out with more details on that later today or, or very soon. Um, so if we look at the response from our bot uh, on uh, the mint command, this says try the Discord Nacho bot on testnet 10 and then gives you instructions. So the first thing you have to do is click on this link and it does say message, select message as step two. If you're on mobile, you will see message as an option. Uh, if you're on desktop, just click the picture first, 
then you see this message button uh, and you can go ahead and message the bot. Now this creates a private DM based session for the wallet. Uh, so here you now just want to click start just like it said in those instructions. So we'll send that start command and then Casper bot responds. Welcome to the bot, gives you all of the commands that you need uh, and allows you to set up a wallet. So you can import a wallet if you have a private key, maybe from the CasperBot Telegram app or something like that, uh, or you can just generate a brand new wallet. So for this video, we'll generate a brand new wallet, and we've got our private key and our generated address. Now again, this is just a testnet 10 address, and I'm not going to use it for anything that I care about. Uh, so I don't mind that this private key is shared. Um, but for the sake of this, we do need to get some, some TCAS, which is test CASPA on testnet 10. So we're going to call the faucet command to do that. Uh, and we click, we uh, type in the faucet right there, and the CASPA bot responds with uh, 50,000 TCAS for us. So we'll claim that. Look at that, we've got that. So now let's make sure that it's there by checking our balance. And it is. Beautiful. So we've got 50,000 TCAS. So let's go back up here to their instructions. We tried balance. We tried faucet. Let's try mint. We're going to mint some K-Nacho tokens. So mint. Now it's important to note that this mint command, while on testnet 10, only allows you to mint K-Nacho. It's not asking you to put in a ticker and decide which token you want to mint. Uh, even though when we get to mainnet, you'll be able to do that, and you'll be able to mint any KRC20 token here in the Nacho Discord using Catbot by Casper. Uh, so for the sake of this uh, video, let's type in 10. Uh, we're going to mint 10 times. Gives us an estimate of what they think fees are on testnet 10 right now. Uh, again, testnet, so let's just go low. Doesn't really matter. Um, says it should take us about three minutes. Going to cost us about 12 TCAS. They're charging one TCAS each mint, uh, and then they're estimating uh, the CASPLEX and priority fees here. So you can see all that. We see that we're going to get 287,000 K Nacho, which makes sense. We're doing 10 mints at 28,700 each. So we'll hit confirm there, and we'll watch this minting bot uh, complete. Now, I think what's really cool about this bot is that it all happens in the background. You know, you don't have to process each mint transaction. You don't have to come in here and confirm them all. Uh, this is the exact same experience as what Casper offers on their Telegram bot. Um, and of course, we're not in, uh, integrating their Telegram bot uh, for our Telegram uh, community because you've already got direct access to their bot on Telegram. So if you're a bigger Telegram user, just hit up that Casper bot, go straight to the source, and, and you'll have the exact same experience there. Uh, but in terms of the Discord community, you know, we're about 5,000 strong here in the Nacho Discord, and uh, we can generate a lot of future listings revenue uh, with these fees if we all decide to mint with CatBot. Um, so you'll go through here basically just wait for this process to complete uh, with the minting um, and then you'll be able to have those tokens. Now I do want to show you something important in case you ever need to cancel a mint. So I'm going to do that here. Let's cancel this mint. And it's telling us that it stopped 9 out of 10 of those mints. Um, so we have some reclaiming of CASPA to do. Um, Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. It did mint 9 out of 10 times, so we only missed one of them there. Uh, but either way, there is some of our CASPA that we paid to do this mint. Again, this is just testnet CASPA for now, but this will be the same experience on mainnet, so it's good to experience this. Um, just hit Reclaim CAS. As part of the minting, your CASPA gets sent to a temporary address that we call a P2SH address. It's uh, a pay to script hash, I think, is the acronym. Um, but regardless, your CASPA gets stuck in that kind of liminal address while waiting for the mint to complete. So if you choose to cancel a mint, you're going to have to go reclaim that CAS. So let's do that right here. The funds have already been reclaimed. There's no balance left to recover. So I think that's because we got uh, basically all of our mints done there and everything's fine. Uh, but let's test it again and see what we can do. So we're going to mint. And instead, let's put in a thousand mints here. And this tells us it's going to take a very long time. Uh, five hours, 33 minutes, and 20 seconds. So let's confirm that. And then we go ahead and cancel it, basically right away. 
So we have 1,000 casts to reclaim now because we sent all of that to the P2SH address uh, and we need to grab it back. So let's reclaim that cast and success. We reclaimed 997 and some change from the P2SH address and they sent that to our wallet using some gas fees. Uh, you can see that transaction right there. So that is how you mint. Um, if you needed to transfer or uh, send TCAS, so transfer is for your KRC20 tokens, and sending command is for sending TCAS or CASPA once we get back to mainnet. Um, so again, all you have to really do is come in here to the Nacho Discord, go to the Catbot channel, and just call that mint function. It'll give you instructions, you can walk right through clicking in there, messaging the bot, generating a wallet, and getting going. So I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, just tag me in the Discord. I will walk you through it. I'll help you, and we'll get you off to minting. Have a great day.